So anyway, I was in Burbank the other day. Regular day, regular casting call, no big deal, whatever. I'm standing in line, and there's this guy next to me, and he's like, hey, listen to my Peter Griffin. I'm like, all right, I'll listen to it. He's like, oh yeah, so I came here, and I'm gonna do an accent, and I'm gonna do Peter Griffin, like I'm down at the clam, and I had a few drinks, and now I can't feel feelings. <laughs> and he's like, okay, you wanna hear my Joker one? I'm like, all right, sure. You want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy grabs the kitchen knife to defend herself. And I'm like, all right, just stop. Stop right there. I get it. You can do the Joker or whatever. All right, now, everyone, I need you to get in line according to the way you want to do this cat thing because, you know, we just have a character here, and I'm not gonna even feed you your lines, you gotta just know what, what to do, okay? It's gonna be like how we did Kill Bill, like how the character was just called the bride, right? You, you don't know anything about her, no, no name, no backstory, no nothing, just the bride. So needless to say, neither one of us got the call back. Ian, the dude next to me, his name was Frank, by the way. We just walked out of the auditioning place. Might as well just listen to the rest of these guys' impressions. I'm like, you know, I have all these neuroses, and. I just have a, I'm just having an existential crisis here, and sometimes I just want to crawl into a fetal position and weep. What my rabbi told me, he's like, Hey, Woody, if you don't go to temple, you're not going to find a nice Jewish girl to get married to. So listen to me. Have you ever heard a John, uh, an accurate John Lennon impression, like a good Liverpoolian accent? You know, we came, came ac from across the pond. You know, me and Paul and Ringo, George, we all had a time before we all had to break up. You know, two mice fell into a bucket of cream. One mouse drowned. The other turned that cream into butter. As of now, I am that second mouse. And Sandy, you can't just walk out of a drive-in movie. And Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I am Tony Montana. Did I get this car eating pussy, huh? Common? I kill common for fun. First you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the women. We can stay up late, swap manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You got all your impersonations, now check me out. I got accents for days. Speak with a really proper accent, talking about waking up in the morning with my cup of Earl Grey tea. English breakfast is the only proper way to start one's day. The same kind of tea that my grandfather used to have when he was serving in the Royal Air Force. But you know, some of my family came from up north, from Scotland. And in Scotland, you know you've got to have a pint of ale with everything you do. If you don't, I suggest you fucking have a drink there, laddie. Me uncle, he lived in Dublin, but me ma'am, she came from Derbyshire. We'd go down to the local pub, share our drinking stories about the time we spent down in good old Ireland, the green emerald isle. And he said, what's your ethnicity? I said, I'm Persian. He's like, can you do an accurate one? I'm like, are you kidding me? My whole entire family, they emigrated from Iran. And you think I don't know how to do their accent? And you know what? I said, why don't we go emigrate inside? I'm fucking freezing out here. I can do more though. Are we recording? So once I told him that, he asked me, are you full Persian? And I said, yes, but some of my family, because you know, the north of Iran is bordering Russia. So he said, can you do Russian accent? And I said, da, I can do Russian if you want. But I have not much experience in that field because I've never been to Moscow. You know, only St. Petersburg, but the vodka from St. Petersburg, best in the entire world, everyone else is vodka, nil, nothing, not even close. You kidding me, bello? 
I used to work in a ristorante italiano and we had fettuccine, pomodoro, don't forget. The fettuccine Alfredo is not even authentico italiano, it's not the real thing, bello, why aren't you listening to me, eh? huh? You think fettuccine Alfredo it was actually invented by the French? Not italiano, no, 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 bello, perché you no listen to me, bello? Yeah, of course I've been to Germany. You think I've never been to Germany? I speak Deutsch like no other. You don't know even what I am thinking about because I have a headache from not having enough Wasser. I'm Michael Caine. You could be the outcast. You could make the choice that no one else will face, Master Wayne. Gotham needs you. I need you. I'm your butler, but I've loved you since I first heard your cries echo throughout this house. I never wanted you to come back to Gotham. I knew there was nothing here for you except pain and tragedy. And I wanted more for you than that. I still do.